Hey friend, I'm Kristen and I am really over neutral spaces. Color makes me happy, so I'm making my home as colorful as can be. Join me on my journey as I make over my home through an eco-friendly lens. Welcome to my eco colorful home makeover series. Hey friend, so we are finally here. It is episode one of the Eco Colorful Home Makeover Series. I am so flipping excited. I have so much to do. Like when I say this series is gonna be so fun, it is going to be so fun because I'm having fun. And I hope that means you will be having fun watching it as well. This design plan is truly going to make my inner child thrive. I have always been a huge fan of color. So get ready for fun wallpaper, fun design, fun furniture, all of the above. And I hope it makes you happy as well. I have these lovely drop cloths for painting because we are talking about paint today. So let's talk about paint. So I have painted two rooms in the house so far. It is this living room and my bedroom. And I just wanted a blank slate. It's white, it's bland, it's boring, but I needed something bright and light to just give the space more life. And the colors were just making me feel blah and boring and gross, and we don't like that. So I am gonna paint this room today, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you what paint I've been using. It is a zero VOC eco-friendly paint. So let's roll those clips. So I'm wearing the clothes I don't necessarily care about. And this is Claire Paint. It's a black woman owned paint company and it's a zero VOC paint. It's also Green Guard Gold certified, which is one of the best certifications you can get. So I did a lot of taping yesterday and it is time to paint. I'm a little scared. I don't think I've ever actually painted a full room before. Cheers to painting stuff full rooms for the first time. Let's go. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's here. Oh, I love it when the love comes around. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks so much brighter in here. So on the docket today, get rid of all this tape, get rid of the drop cloths in here, and then we're gonna do the main living room. Let's do it. Then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm Okay so it's finally time that I paint the living room. <laughs> it's been like almost a month since I've moved into this place and yeah, it's definitely time to paint the living room. I did some of the walls here. That's what we're gonna work on today and let's get it done. <laughs> So I did use Claire paint for the white paint on the walls. I typically want to use a low VOC paint or a zero VOC paint. It's a little bit more eco-friendly and the odor of the paint is not as strong. So it just kind of helps me overall because sometimes paint can have a very strong odor and I don't want to be breathing that and living in that while I am painting. So 
let's get into painting today. I am painting today. We're painting the back wall. And let me show you kind of the design of what I'm going for in this room. Just a little sneak peek here. So this is going to be, well, this is the back wall actually. This is going to be a light aqua color on the back wall. But I'm also kind of thinking of having some sort of like wave kind of design. I've seen this a lot recently. I love Pinterest. I'm looking at Pinterest, but I kind of think it would be fun to have some sort of like wave. All the other walls are going to be white, but this wall is gonna be that kind of like this color of my nails. The wave design I'm not gonna do today. So I have time to think about it. I'm thinking of doing like that wave design across the wall in the back on the aqua wall or do I do it on like this side wall? Thoughts? Let me know. Let me know what you think. It would add some more color to this wall and be like a fun little mural thing. I don't know. Let me know. I'm gonna go change into my paint clothes, which are all thrifted and like a dollar. And then let's get started on painting the wall and these little areas and the built-ins and we'll see how it looks. I am so excited. So let's go do that. And of course I'm listening to the Heartstopper soundtrack because I have been obsessed with Heartstopper and that's really all I've been watching because it makes me happy, judge me, whatever. But that's what we're listening to right now. went to Home Depot yesterday. I got this gallon paint can. Home Depot sells zero VOC paint. So there are amazing eco-friendly paint companies out there, but this is such an accessible option. I mean, most people have a Home Depot nearby. So I love this. It's Green Guard Gold certified, which we love. And hopefully it doesn't smell super bad. So we shall see. Let's start painting though. I am very excited. Let's get to it. So it is the next day. The wall is dry. I'm gonna take off the paint. I still haven't painted the built-ins, which I don't even know why I put this on. I love this outfit though. <laughs> but I should probably just put on my paint clothes again because I do need to paint the built-ins and then it'll bring the room all together. And I kind of go back and forth on this. Like you can see, that's the white wall. Here's this wall. Is it too bright? Like I don't want it to look like a kid's bedroom. You know what I mean? Because there, there is a difference. There are some paint colors that look like a kid's bedroom, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's like too bright and kid youthful like and not like, ah, that's a fun pop of color. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I'm gonna take off the tape, see if I have any touch ups to do and then we will get to the built-ins. Okay, we're gonna paint this and I hope it looks good. I was really thinking of putting wallpaper here, but because I'm gonna be putting wallpaper in a lot of the other rooms, I just, I don't want every room to be crazy wallpapered. So we'll see how it looks. If I don't like it, I'll probably change it to some fun peel and stick wallpaper, but I'm not gonna prime it. Hopefully that doesn't screw it up. Hopefully I don't have to do too many coats if I don't prime it, we'll see. It's just a gray color, so it's not crazy. But anyways, let's get the drop cloths, the plastic drop cloths. It's already, it's been taped up for a while. So hopefully that's okay. <laughs> but let's let's get into it.
Okay, the paint is dry. I also got so much paint in my hair. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> so now I'm gonna have to go figure that out. I'm gonna take all the tape off and we'll put everything back together. I haven't seen the shelves in here in so long. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Obviously not doing a full room makeover right now. I'm gonna be showing you kind of the process of everything. I love this paint from Bear at Home Depot. It only took like two coats. I think once I get more decor and I get the actual couch <laughs> that I want in here, it's gonna be a lot better. I am gonna be trying definitely another brand of paint before doing any kind of review. So stay tuned for that, but I love these pops of color. It makes it so much more fun. And once I get a rug in here and I get my decor going, I can't wait to show you what I come up with. I hope you guys are liking episode one of the home makeover series. I'm going to have so many more episodes of this series. So stay tuned and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you wanna see in this series. And just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.